proposals to end the Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations skills list. In today's video update, we will talk about the latest updates, which mentions that the government is told to scrap Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations skills list used for tech visas. If parliamentary committee's proposals are applied, it will become easier for technology companies to attract overseas workers, as they will not have to use outdated methods to attract them. The committee has asked the federal government to get rid of the Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations list to meet present skills requirements. Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations consists of occupations that makes the basis for the present skilled migration program. In 2006, a major change in the list was made. Many big companies have joined other organizations from different sectors to criticize the list and blame the difficulties they are facing on the list. According to Atlassian and Canva, the nominations listed in the Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations list does not match the new roles that evolve daily in the tech industry, which have advanced ahead of the classifications. Moreover, during 1990s when the list was created, many roles did not exist therefore, the Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations list failed to grab the attention of many important roles that the companies are in dire need of. Mark Glasbrook, another submitter, stated that if any occupation is not mentioned in the list, then federal government fails to report that occupation in demand since it is not listed. The Parliamentary Migration Committee suggested that the National Skills Commission must replace Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations and form a new occupation listing system that offers flexibility in adapting emerging labour market requirements. It was agreed with innumerable witnesses and submitters who presented their views about replace Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations being outdated and suggested that the Australian Bureau of Statistics that operates the list to discard the system. As Australian Bureau of Statistics is working to update Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations, another major change is needed to deal with the ongoing problems skilled immigrants face in new and emerging occupations and the Australian employers while looking for skills. In a report, committee stated that if the targeted updated does not do well, then the committee would consider shifting to a different approach to support the skilled migration list. Moreover, it added that the formation of Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations was not to underpin skilled migration list and its flaws have been revealed, in which Australian Bureau of Statistics did not undertake a detailed report. Also, according to the committee, adapting the current Australian and New Zealand standard classification of occupations approach for occupation listing would not be helpful in solving the existing problems with its usage. It also said that the industry's standard could help to provide responsiveness and flexibility that could be provided by an advanced occupation list designed specifically to cater the needs of emerging local market. The committee also suggested that the government combine the medium and long-term strategic skills list and short-term skilled occupation list into one skilled occupation list. This is the end of today's video update. Please share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel by pressing the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching today's update.